Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also the Brink, and we are one. And you know what? It's it's come time. It's time to talk about this serious thing about the Steam Deck that I just have not talked much about. And it's because I've been uh just waiting. I actually would like to do more of this topic on a Steam Deck once I get it, but let's get into some emulation on the Steam Deck. One of the things that a lot of us want to do. And before we get into that, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. And let's get over to mudeck.com. This is a nice little uh, system essentially set up. So it's essentially a, a <laughs> that has a bunch of different pieces of software that come together that then has another layer on top of it to help just making your make your experience of emulating on the Steam Deck that much better. And it has like the retro arch, the and you can see right here, you know. The hotkeys, the systems, it has a lot of different things. It has mapping for hotkeys, so you can use the, I believe, the back toggles on the deck for essentially, you know, safe states. It's really cool. You can do a lot of different things with the hotkeys that they have. And I love the idea of a quick save state. And I know it's a little cheap on some older games, but I... I'm not always going to be able to, you know, wait until I get to the save spot. And so saving on the go real quick um is awesome especially if you can't plan on the suspend mode working well on it yet uh, i know that there were some issues with suspend on the emulators so until that's resolved um you know saving often is going to be a good way to do that so emulation what is it is it easy or is it not on the steam deck and i will say with this guide i think most people are going to be able to do it with flat pack you're going to be able to uh download all your emulators right here that's what the that's what essentially the guide says it says you need to download um a bunch of emulators get them all set up on the on the device and you can get find them at flat hub or flat pack flat hub is just like the ui the the web ui for this to you know see what there is and you can see that there's there's a couple of different there's um two switch uzu and Ryjinx, Ray, yeah rio jinx and then there's you know dolphin for gamecube wii you got Game Boy Advance. You have so many emulators, and with the rise of just emulation even more on the go, these are going to get even better over time. And I've heard some really good things about emulating on the Steam Deck. It does a really good job. And this is where you're going to go to find the emulators. You can go ahead and download those. If you're on your Steam Deck, you can just download them onto the Steam Deck. It has, and like I said, it has a whole guide on how to do it, and then um, it will help you map it to where it's it's really cool they will actually show the artwork. So what this, um, this essentially, yeah, let's see. You can download right here. This emulation saw, uh, station, I believe what it is, will make it so it maps everything. It really helps just take what already exists, like RetroArch and these emulators, and just makes it fit into Steam's uh, UI much better and including the artwork so and it can take a little bit of time to build as it says in the facts on the page but you can almost it's almost like you can essentially group your emulate your roms your games into steam's um system and then just play it like any other game so it's it's like you downloaded it from the steam store in some ways but because it's just easy it's like you select it start it starts the 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 game up runs the emulator and everything. Um, there's a couple of caveats that they go over, like you have to run the emulators once at least. And then um, there's a couple other pieces of mapping, but it's like, a, I believe it was like a 10 step guide. Yeah. And then there's also a video included on it from Retro Game Corpse. Um, and so it's, it really like, it's a little complicated, but I think for most people, they're gonna be able to follow these instructions, especially if there's a video and be able to, you know, Get this running on theirs i know this is really important i will once i get my steam deck i will be running through this and doing my own like simplified tutorial hopefully eh, when i get it so that uh people aren't as confused but i'm sure this uh retro game corpse one is a great one so um i'll try to link all this in the description below and really that's i mean it's, it's pretty dead simple um they they make it so it's easy to map your gamepad your system to you know the controls on your system to the emulators there's a there's a lot of work that they've gone ahead and kind of done to make it so 
you only have to do a couple of things to get things going and, and emulation isn't actually that difficult it's when you want to get it just right that it becomes a little bit more difficult where you want to set it up to where you can launch it easy where you can find your roms easy i usually kept my roms um that i have games to you know the physical copies i usually keep mine in just essentially my dropbox or something like that and then i was able to make and then i put the emulator in there too and i was just make i was able to play it in multiple locations that was nice now i'm really excited to keep my roms and my emulators hopefully on the sd card keep them all together to where i can make that portable and maybe even use it in multiple devices um depending on if it supports you know the file the file system that that sd card is it's a lot of experimenting a lot that's going to come from this but the bare minimum I'll probably be using my Steam Deck for most of my emulating in the future. I, I really would be surprised if I used anything else except for maybe the Odin for emulating in the, in the near future. This is really, I, I wish it was kind of a, and maybe I'll look into it, getting a, a just essentially a, um, getting it all set up on an SD card, zip it down, the ROMs and this, uh, this whole system, and then just including it as a download sometime. Maybe I'll do that. And then uh, you can just download it to your SD card and then do, run a couple extra steps to maybe actually have it just work on your deck. So I'm going to look into that later down the road once I get my Steam Deck. Um, so here's the hoping. But really, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Emulation's never been so easy on the Steam Deck with thanks to MU Deck. And go check it out. Um, and yeah, it's, it's awesome. Let me know in the comments below what games you're going to play, if this is helpful um or anything else that's about emulation or emulators what i mean it's just it's a wonderful world right so thank you guys for watching check out my other videos and i will catch you guys later peace out later